Hey, what's up everyone? There's been so many people recently who are either trying to lose weight and get into shape or just wanting to start eating healthier that keep asking about the differences between the healthy fats and the unhealthy fats. So I decided to make a video and get into the lesser known facts about the different types of fats and how they can either hurt or greatly benefit you. We will reveal some surprising insights that most people might not be aware of and maybe even give you a giant head start against most people trying to do the same thing. So many diets want you to follow them to a T when really most of them are just based around calories and how much fat you consume. Knowing these differences, you can tailor your own diet and eat the foods you like by just understanding which fats are good or bad for you. This might be the secret knowledge you have been looking for to lose those extra pounds or finally perfect the body you have been working so hard on. Have you ever wondered why some fats can just strut their stuff down the red carpet of your diet like famous celebrities? when other fats are booed off stage like a random person bombing it at a comedy show? Well, today I want to go over what makes a fat good or bad and how they silently shape our health, mood, and even our waistlines. So by the end of this journey, you'll not only be able to spot them from a mile away, but also know how to make them work hard in your favor. Before we get into the good stuff, let's start off by going over some examples of different types of healthy fats and understanding what they are and what they do for your body. First we have monounsaturated fats. These are found in olive oil, avocados, and nuts. These fats can help reduce bad cholesterol levels in your blood which can lower your risk of heart disease and stroke. They also provide nutrients to help develop and maintain your body's cells. Then we have polyunsaturated fats. These are found in fish and seafood and in sunflower seeds, corn, soybeans, and flaxseed oils. These fats contain omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which are essential fats that your body needs for brain function and cell growth. Consuming healthy fats in moderation can lead to improved heart health, reduced inflammation, and better nutrient absorption. We also can't forget about the unhealthy fats. We will need to understand what these are, how to watch out for them, and what things they can do to your body. Remember, not all unhealthy fats are as bad as others. Some are mostly bad in large consumptions, while others should be avoided as much as possible. First, we have the saturated fats. These are typically found in animal products like meat and dairy, as well as in coconut and palm oils. High intake of saturated fats can raise the level of cholesterol in your blood, increasing your risk of heart disease and stroke. So these are all great foods because of all the other awesome nutrients they pack in them as well. But for people trying to lose weight or that have high cholesterol, just remember to have these foods in good moderation. Next, we have trans fats. These are found in some fried foods, processed snack foods, and baked goods. Trans fats raise your bad LDL cholesterol levels and lower your good HDL cholesterol levels, increasing your risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. These are the ones you want to try and avoid at all costs, especially when you're trying to get healthy or lose weight. Even when building muscle and working out, these foods can lower your energy levels and add so many extra calories that seem to stick way longer than the healthy fats do. Science tells us that a diet high in unhealthy fats, especially trans fats, can lead to health problems such as cardiovascular disease, obesity, and insulin resistance. Here are some quick dietary recommendations to go by. The American Heart Association recommends reducing saturated fat intake to less than 7% of total daily calories and minimizing the amount of trans fat you consume. Instead, you should focus on eating foods rich in unsaturated fats. It's very important to read food labels to identify and limit the amount of trans and saturated fats in your diet, making sure you're going for healthier fat sources when possible. Keeping a good balance of healthy fats in your diet while really limiting unhealthy fats can significantly impact your overall health and well-being for the short term and especially the long term. Now let's get into the good stuff since we now understand what the difference is between the different types of fats that we eat. I'll share some secrets about fats that most people don't know about. I want to let you in on the secret behind monounsaturated fats and weight management. Remember these are your olive oils, avocados, nuts, pumpkin and sunflower seeds, olives and sesame oils. First is appetite regulation. Monounsaturated fats have been shown to slow down the digestion process, which can help you feel fuller longer. This satiety effect can reduce hunger and decrease overall calorie intake, supporting weight management efforts. Second are the metabolic health benefits. Consuming foods rich in monounsaturated fats, such as olive oil, avocados, and nuts, is linked to improved insulin sensitivity and blood sugar levels. This is crucial for preventing metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes, conditions often associated with obesity. 
third is belly fat reduction. Studies suggest that diets high in monounsaturated fats can specifically help reduce abdominal fat, which is the most dangerous type of body fat. Abdominal fat is closely linked to increased risk of heart disease and diabetes, making monounsaturated fats a key player in targeting this problematic area. Next is heart health. While the primary focus here is on weight management, it's worth noting that monounsaturated fats also promote heart health by lowering bad cholesterol levels and increasing good cholesterol. This benefit complements weight management as cardiovascular health is often compromised in obesity. Also, there's the thermogenic effect. Some research indicates that monounsaturated fats may have a higher thermogenic effect than other types of fats, meaning they can increase the number of calories your body burns at rest. This can contribute to weight loss or maintenance as it potentially boosts your metabolic rate. They are great nutrient-dense food sources. Foods high in monounsaturated fats are typically nutrient-dense, offering vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. This means they not only help with weight management but also support overall health, making them a super valuable addition to any diet. Did you know olive oil is a weight management ally? Among the sources of monounsaturated fats, olive oil is often underrated for its health benefits. Studies have found that including olive oil in your diet can lead to weight loss or maintenance, partly due to its ability to promote that feeling of being full and its role in healthy dietary patterns like the Mediterranean diet. Then we have the good old omega-3s. Most people are aware that omega-3 fatty acids are good for the heart, but way fewer know about their significant impact on overall brain health. Omega-3s, especially found in fatty fish, are very crucial for brain function and development. They play a vital role in enhancing memory and may even protect against age-related mental decline, keeping you sharp even in the long term. An easy way I get my omega-3s is through arctic krill oil supplements. It's very clean and has a nice concentration to it, so you know you're getting a good amount without having to eat fish or seafood every day. Another secret most people don't know about is trans fats and their hidden presence in foods. While many people understand trans fats are bad, most of us might not realize these unhealthy fats can be hidden in many processed foods, even those labeled as trans fat free. This is because in some countries, if a serving contains less than 0.5 grams of trans fats, it can be legally labeled as zero grams. Regular consumption of these small amounts can add up to significant health risks. Did you know that saturated fats aren't all the same? The narrative around saturated fats is often oversimplified. Research shows that not all saturated fats have the same effect on heart health. For instance, the saturated fats in coconut oil raise HDL, which is your good cholesterol, on the other hand, fatty red meats can cause the opposite, more LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. So raising your good cholesterol can mitigate some of the negative effects traditionally attributed to saturated fats. Plus, the fats in dairy products have been linked to a lower risk of diabetes and are usually packed high with probiotics. Now, a super important tip in the role of fats is vitamin absorption. Fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K require dietary fats for their absorption in the intestine. Without adequate healthy fats in the diet, one's body can't absorb these vitamins efficiently, no matter how much you consume, potentially leading to deficiencies despite a nutrient-rich diet. I've also learned that not all plant-based fats are created equal. While plant-based diets are often praised for their health benefits for good reasons, it's essential to be discerning about the sources of fats. For instance, palm oil, a plant-based fat, is high in saturated fats, and its production is linked to environmental concerns. But on the other hand, avocados, nuts, and seeds offer unsaturated fats along with fiber, protein, and various essential nutrients. Funny because now the bridge between healthy fats and unhealthy fats doesn't seem so big anymore. It's all about having the knowledge of what to look for and what to completely avoid, also while consuming others in moderation. We've learned everything from which fats improve your brain health to losing weight and weight management all the way to the other fats that raise your bad cholesterol and expand your waistline. Having the right knowledge will now keep you in command of all of these fats and enable you to upgrade your body as much as possible. Understanding these nuances can help refine dietary choices for better health and well-being, emphasizing the importance of not just the quantity, but the quality of fats in one's diet. Thank you all for joining, subscribe if you enjoyed your stay here, and remember to keep flexing all this new knowledge and glowing with the results.